Hi guys, this is George from Hardware Electronics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the new keypad from Blink Marine uh, to the Hardwire PDMs. So the first thing we're going to do is connect to the PDM. And then if we go over to the configuration tab, uh, we can input the Campbell speed of the keypad. Now the default Campbell speed of the Blink Marine keypads is 125 kilobits per second. But I have this keypad set up at 1000 kilobits per second, so I'll just leave this setting as it is. Now if we go to the keypad tab, we can go through all the usual settings. We can enable the keypad, select which one we're using, which is the top one here. Uh, we can select the ID for the keypad, which is 21. Then we can leave all this as it is, apart from the backlight color. Uh, we can change this to white slash light blue. Now, as you can see, there's two dials on the keypad. Um, and the way the ordering of the, the buttons work on Blink Marine keypads, it starts at 1 here, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So dial number 1 is on button 1, and dial number 2 is on button 11. So I'll just type this in here so that we don't get confused. So this is dial 1 and this is dial 2. Um, so now if we configure these two buttons uh, as follows, so if we click on here we can set up the keypad dial at the bottom here. So for the keypad dial you can set a minimum value and a maximum value. And what this means is that as you twist the dial the value of that dial will go between the minimum and the maximum value. The maximum value it can take is 16 and the minimum value it can take is 0. Uh, the LED offset, I'll get to that in a moment, but first of all let's just save this configuration as it is and we'll see, uh, we'll see how the dial works in its default settings. So I'll send this. So you can see that the backlights come on on the keypad. Okay, and if we go over to the monitor tab, go to CAN keypad, you can see that CAN keypad 1 is connected it's unlocked and if we move the dial number one you can see that dial one value increases between 0 and 16 it maxes out at 16 and it goes all the way down to 0 so the next thing that we can do is change this minimum and maximum value I can show you how this works so let's set the minimum to 4 and then the maximum will set to 12 so if I save this now and send click OK, go to monitor. You can see that now as we move the dial the minimum it can go to is 4 and the maximum that it will go to is uh, 12. So finally we can go back to the configuration for the dial and we can change the LED offset. Now to demonstrate this I'll set the minimum and maximum value back to the default settings and if we set the LED offset to something like 8 and save this we'll see what happens. So I'll send this. So the first thing to note is that the dial value still goes between the minimum and maximum value of 0 and 16. But instead of the LED starting at LED 0, it now starts at LED 8 at the top. And as we increase the dial, you can see, it's hard to see on the camera, but you can see it goes all the way up to the top like that and then back around uh, like this. So that's the LED offset. And you can set that anywhere between 0 and 15. Another feature that we've added in software version 115 is hold to reset. So let's set up button 2 here, which is a normal keypad button. And if we go on states and set three states and select hold to reset, and then set up our three states. So state 1 will have as red, state 2 is green, and then state 3 is blue. And the LED condition is set to true for each state, which means that the LED will always be on uh, when we're in that state. So let's press save and send this. Press OK. And if we go to the monitor tab, now when we press button 2, you can see we're in state 1, state 2, and state 3. And then if we press it again, it goes back to state 0. Now hold to reset is quite simple, say we're in state 1, if we hold the button down for a second then it goes back to state 0. 
So it just stops you from having to go through all the states to get back to state zero. And that can be done from any state. Okay, so that's everything that you need to know about the new keypad from Blink Marine. It's available on our store, so you can order that right now. If you have any questions, then get in touch through our forum on our website, uh, through the contact section in our website, uh, via email.